hello, welcome to joining the T1 Trust here in Dover, Ohio at Dover Tank of Plate, the manufacturer of our locomotive frame for the 5550. I got a little special surprise for everybody. Uh, we went ahead and took a lot of our pieces, parts, components of the cylinder set and put them together for a test fit uh, prior to machining. So we want everybody to be able to see what the cylinders are going to look like once they've been welded onto the frame so that those that are joining our cylinder club can fully understand where their dollars are going and what they're going to. So we have purchased all the material and we raised the funds through that. Uh, that was about $120,000 in the material to build these four cylinders. And then we've also started cutting all the individual pieces out. We still need to raise funds for the machining, which is the next step. So once they leave here, uh, these parts will all be cut apart. They'll all be put in big CNC mills uh, and uh, the center part and a lathe. All these components will be machined separately. They'll be brought back here to this shop where they'll be all welded together and become one cylinder. Once that happens, we actually then send it out. It will get uh, stress relieved. So it'll be heated up to about 1120 degrees. And then it will go back to machine shop one more time, get a bunch more machine work to get it closer to the final machine. And then it comes back here to be welded to the frame. That's it will be an exciting time when that happens. All four cylinders will be welded to the frame and then we'll be able to get everything aligned at that point. And then the only machining that we really will have to do left on these is the final bore of the cylinders. We will get that close, but we don't want to do the final machine work in there until it's actually welded to the frame. Once it's welded to the frame, we'll be able to run string line and using lasers down the frame to make sure that this is exactly parallel to the frame uh, so that when every time the pistons chug back and forth, they're going exactly parallel to the wheels on that. Very, very important step on that. So once they're, these are welded on, we will align that accordingly, bring a boring, portable boring bar in, bore this uh, to the final, and then it will actually get a uh, cast iron liner shrunk fit into it that the piston actually rides on inside this. So it is a big next step on that. The cylinders, we're excited. We, we're coming a long way on that. We still need help uh, joining the cylinder club as we go through this to make these a reality. We really like to have these completed by this fall so that we can get everything welded on here and get it put in place. So there are a couple thousand hours of machining need to be done on there, plus uh, probably another thousand hours of welding to get these completed and get these put out. So uh, we just want to thank you for your donations to help us get us this far. And uh, we just need a little bit more to make this happen. And uh, we're confident you as a collective out there will step up and help us out. So uh, thank you and forward to continue bringing you new updates uh, as the year goes on. This is gonna be a pretty exciting year of uh, 2025. Thank you.